This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. And we're back again. Aren't you glad? <laughs> <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> we're here. So, um, one of my favorite series running now is uh, Hell on Wheels. Oh, gosh. And I'm sure that, I mean, there's, there's some history in it and all of that. Uh, but I don't know if you're familiar with I met, it. I met but Anson Mount. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's pretty much about the building of the Union Pacific and then the uh, Southern Pacific, and, and it's getting close to the end of the series right now, which is really going to be sad because I love Westerns. But uh, anyway, the only reason I'm saying this now is because, of course, Topeka, Kansas, is very famous for the Atchison, Topeka, and out there... Santa Fe Railroad, which of course was built by Cyrus K. Holliday, one of the founders of Topeka, Kansas, USA. One of my favorite people. Um, he uh, was mayor of Topeka five times, I think, and he is one of the people memorialized with a statue on Kansas Avenue in the downtown beautification, revitalization, um, just a shot in the arm. Kansas Avenue is incredible. So you've got to bring the kids to see the folks that are being honored. And I know that Carl Ice, who is another native Kansan, another native Topekan, um, was on hand. He is the chairman of the Burlington Northern Santa Fe, BNSF. And he was on hand to dedicate the statue of Cyrus Holiday. Nobody loved Kansas more than Cyrus Holiday, seriously. And, you know, tacking Santa Fe onto the name of the uh, railroad, it was so funny because he didn't know if they'd ever get to Santa Fe, but people wanted a railroad to Santa Fe. You know, it was, had this mystique about it. And by golly, they did. They got to Santa Fe and, and beyond. Yeah. So let's take a look at this famous Kansan. Cyrus Kurtz Holliday was born in 1826 near Carlisle, Pennsylvania. He attended Allegheny College and graduated in 1852 with plans to practice law. Instead, he went into business. After making a handsome profit on a short-line railroad venture, Holliday joined the throng of westward migrants and was among Kansas Territory's first settlers. Holliday settled at Lawrence, but not long after his arrival, he thought he should establish another enclave of free state citizens farther up the Kansas River. Holliday organized the Topeka Town Association and marked off the town's streets and boundaries. He would play a principal role in the founding of the Free State Party. During the Wyandotte Constitutional Convention of 1859, Holliday served as Topeka's delegate. He succeeded in having his city officially designated as the future state capital. He was elected to the first of many terms as mayor of Topeka, and he would help found the Kansas Republican Party, serving in both the territorial and state legislatures. In 1859, Holliday began plans on the construction of a railroad to run from Atchison along the Santa Fe Trail, his most notable business venture. The groundbreaking for the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe took place in 1868. Holliday served as the ATSF director until his death in 1900. Holliday received the honorary, though unofficial, title of Colonel, which he carried for the remainder of his life while supervising a Free State Regiment during the Wakarusa War of 1855. During the Civil War, Holliday served as the Adjutant General of Kansas, in which capacity recruited soldiers and ensured that supplies were sent to the front. Through this downtown Topeka Pocket Park, with his statue as the centerpiece, generations of Kansans will be able to meet the man whose vision has shaped not only Kansas, but the American Southwest. And Bill Rischel here in North Platte told me about Kansas Regenerative Medicine. And after talking to Dr. Pope, we did a lot of reading and researching, looking on the internet about it. I guess the thing that impressed me is that he told me, he said, if we don't think it's gonna help you, we're not, we're not gonna do it. I'm a former athlete, played college basketball, had some severe trauma on the right ankle. This brace is what I had to wear all the time. Now, I don't wear this during the day. That's a real improvement for me. I encourage anybody that's interested to go down and do a consultation with them. 